Hey guys, this is BaconBoy3442 here today, and I am bringing you here an M16 Moab Gold, and the attachments I'm using for this gun are the Red Dot Sight and Rapid Fire. So, um, tips I'd recommend for this gun to help you get a Moab would be definitely start off with Scavenger. I know I haven't done it myself, but I honestly did not go in this game expecting to get a Moab. I was just playing with some friends, mucking around, and once I got a specialist, I was like, okay, I'm going for this. And I ended up getting it, so it was, worked out pretty well. And this is also the first Moab I've actually gone on a bit of a gun streak after the after I've called in the Moab. So I ended up going in about a I think total 35 or something gun streak. So it's pretty good. Um, especially considering I was using an M16. This gun is actually really good now since the patch, although it's still in close range, you don't really have much chance against those overpowered SMGs and the FMG Kimbos and shotguns. So, but in long range, you know, you can easily beat a sniper or an LMG or any other assault rifle as long as you got good aim and marksman on somewhere in there or you don't have to. So, some tips. I definitely recommend using Red Dot Sight if you like it. I honestly never use Red Dot Sight on any other guns. But I think the this gun, it really needs the red dot sight because its advantage point is long range. So I think long range, it needs red dot sight and you're pretty much going to beat a sniper every time. You've got rapid fire, so in those short distances, you can shoot them. Like, you've got the fast consecutive bursts. So it works out really well. And in this gameplay, I also do run out of ammo, so that's why I would recommend starting off with scavenger. Also using Hardline Pro to start, it's definitely useful. And third perk, either Marksman or Stalker. They both work out really well and they're really useful. I use Stalker because I just love it because strafing is awesome. But you can use Marksman if you want because it d definitely uh, it definitely helps out when shooting those long distances. And the only downside is Assassin, but most snipers don't use Assassin. Unless they're faggots, because then they hide in corners, and normally there's not much you can't do much about them. So, um, I didn't actually tell you what this is part of, but in the heading, it's definitely gonna say gold gun series with every Moab. That doesn't make sense. A mob with every gold gun. So this is episode one to this series using my gold M16, and I'm gonna be posting a ser like a video from this series every Sunday. So I know I have a lot of people watching from America, so I, that might be Saturday night still, I'm not too sure. But this is about Sunday midday for me, I'm going to be posting this, or afternoon-ish, we'll see. But definitely on Sundays, so it might vary for people in other countries of when it actually comes up. But if you do enjoy this, drop a like, a favourite maybe, because it's a pretty hard gun to get a mob with, even with the buff. And also subscribe if you're new, because I'm going to have lots more of these coming. And a new series, maybe. Maybe on a Wednesday or Thursday or something like that. I'm going to be doing some dual comms with friends and stuff like that. <coughs> so, if you'd, in, if you'd be interested to see some of that series. And if you like this series of a gold gun with every mod. I keep, I keep getting that mixed up. I've got to, okay, mod with every gold gun. If you want to see more of that, please comment and like this video. Because it will inspire me to make some more videos like this. So I hope you do enjoy it. Um, I'm going to pretty much wrap up the commentary here because this is quite a long gameplay. I do not feel like talking for like almost nine, eight and a half minutes or something. It's very long. So I'm going to stop talking around about here. So if you want to see more of these, definitely like, comment, subscribe, favorite. And if you don't like this video because M16 mobs are really easy, give it a dislike. But... I don't know, it's a pretty hard gun to get. And also, the buff that they have done for this is more damage and faster fire rate. So, the faster fire rate with rapid fire makes this gun very fun to use and also kills in one burst a majority of the time. Even if it doesn't, you've got the second burst. And I haven't used a Type 95 since, but I will definitely compare them for you guys. I might even make a video on it to see which one is better. So we can check that out later, 
But I'm going to wrap up the commentary here. I'm getting pretty close to the Moab. And also I was playing with two friends. Um, uh, T. McBag is again. He was in my last video as well. He didn't really help me out too much. But I was just playing with them. They weren't running support or anything. And also, I believe it's XTPG Sniper. I'm sorry if I say your name wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's it. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. I was talking to him, like, come on, guys. We go we're going to get this. And he at the end, he's like, oh, let's go run up the stairs. I look, and I'm like, boom, there he is, Moab. And then it was really awesome. And I actually almost got a USAS Moab the game after this. I got went on 15th streak. But it's kind of disappointing I missed out on that one. But this is pretty much it. You'll see him there. X TPG Sniper. X Sniper. So you can add me for one. He's a pretty good player. He's got a few mobs as well. And it's just about here. I get the mob. I almost die. And I know this is very awkward because I probably should have stopped talking here. But here's the mob. So thanks for watching. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Favorite, comment, subscribe. All that awesome stuff. And please look forward to my next videos. Thanks for watching. Bacon Boy 3442 over and out. Peace.